Well, good morning. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to go and meet somebody and have a bit of a chat about vlogging and what it takes to start a vlog and I don't really know actually beyond that. There'd probably be some EV chit chat in there as well I would have thought because his vlog is going to be one of these ones which is aimed at EVs shall we say. I think he drives a Nissan Leaf actually. So let's get going before we're late. Over there, see? There he is. Very nice to meet you, how are you? And you? Excellent. Um, so this is Ryan. Hi. And, He's uh, uh, channel this EV Opinion. That's right, yes. And do you want to say a little bit about your channel? Yes. Yeah, it's not so just EVs, is it? Yeah, but well, it's, it's not a million miles different to yours, just sort of very low end compared to you, I guess. Um, so yeah, I've been doing it for three or four months, three months, and it started off as a bit of a, a channel to kind of give back a little bit, I suppose, where I had learnt lots of things from different people about EVs and it kind of encouraged me through sort of watching videos on YouTube to buy an EV. And I thought, well, now I've had mine for two years, uh, why not kind of, the things I now know, a couple of videos on it, might be some good fun. And, um, Spread the word. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, and then I just really enjoyed doing it. And bit by bit, kind of, my family got introduced into it and um, it turned into a kind of, every other day, I seem to be just putting up a video on, whether it's about everyday life, about holidays, and I um, really enjoy doing it. So um, that's kind of how it's evolved, really. How fast can you go on that new bike? Whoa! Fast. Jasper, is it alright if I video you with this as well? Would that be okay? Because you're used to it now, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, thank you, I'm okay. You know, as appetising as it looks. So I have literally just turned up and seen this, and I now have complete vlogging envy. This is obviously taking years to set up uh, with, and I'll, I'm going to have to put a post a picture on mine, but um, my little camera against all this. Well, this is just this is just how I roll. I mean, yeah. this is not it, this isn't going to be that great because the camera angles are all wrong because I've only got a small table and you always have to be a little bit surreptitious yes. when you're in a cafe turning it into your recording studio. Right, Jasper, come here, monkey. Come here. I'm going to give you one of these. You've got to sit on this seat and eat it quietly. It's what we have to not tell mummy about. So you drive a um, 24 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf, is that right? Yeah, so I've had it for just over two years. I had no idea about anything to do with electric cars. In fact, the first electric car I ever saw was probably about three and a half, four years ago when I was driving along with a friend and a Tesla was in front of us, a Model S. And um, we both said, that's a really nice car. No idea what it was whatsoever. And um, of course we got on Google and then realized I said, wow, I had no idea that you could have a car that you could charge, you know, a, a battery car, and it would go that far. So then two, two and a half years ago, um, a friend of mine started telling me about his Leaf, had the um, week-long test drive, and um, actually it was Sarah, my wife, who ended up ensuring that we got one. And um, yeah, two years later, and I haven't regretted a single second of it. It's been absolutely brilliant. You always have to get things past the bus, don't you? Oh, yes. In any relationship. Oh, yeah. yeah, the car came, she really wanted it. And um, yeah, as I say, we've never looked back. Do you find you, you still enjoy driving it? Absolutely yeah. love it, yeah. So we've just come back from um, the best part of a week in North Devon. It's, I hadn't ever taken it there before. Uh, with Nissan, two weeks of every year, you're allowed to borrow a, a nice car. And that's what we always do. I always. never did that. Did you never do it? So we had always done it before. Wherever we went, simply because of the young kids, I said, we can't stop every 40 minutes for 40 minutes if we're doing a 300 mile journey. But this time I said, there's no way I'm doing it. It cost me a fortune in petrol. So last time we went up to Lincoln, it cost me about 80 pound in petrol to get there and back. They gave us a, um, a Duke, which lovely car, but it's not, it's not a, an EV. What I did, and this worked like a charm, is I, made Soph go everywhere in the Nissan Leaf yeah. and after two years she was like will you please buy a Tesla <laughs> something along those lines yeah. anyway one thing I was going to ask is um, whether you've seen any battery degradation on your car because I did on my Nissan Leaf notice I guess maybe 15% or so by the time I got rid of it after two and a half years okay so how many miles have you done at that point? 36,000 right so I've just hit 28,000 and um, 
It was serviced a month ago, uh, and I know it's not the same as putting it on leaf spy and all the rest of it, but the, um, the, the report that came back from Nissan said it's absolutely fine. There was a, a couple of bits about, obviously, because I, I quite often charge it when it's 80%, I'll plug it in at home. So it mentioned that, but other than that, it said there was no degradation in it. And as far as noticing it, um, no, I haven't so far. That's good. Um, I guess you'd probably have the next gen battery chemistry yes. from the one yeah. that I had. Yeah. Because we're talking four and a half years ago now, weren't right. I? So mine's a 2015. Yeah, exactly. Mine was a 2012. Right, yes. So, yeah, definitely. So, did you have the uh, heat pump and things in it? Or is that right? Yeah. So, a generation on, and um, you know, even putting the heater on, yes, it, it, it takes some battery. But I never had the heater on. Yes, and that's the difference, yeah. It drove around in the middle of winter, so was sitting there in a big thick coat yeah. going, buy a Tesla, buy please, a Tesla, Make please. it work. <laughs> yeah. The reason I was saying about battery degradation is because I have noticed, come up here, sit on my lap. That's a much better idea, there we go. I got, jumped in the car this morning and it said 213 miles on the 90% charge, wow. which basically means I still have only lost that I don't know, something like two and a half, three percent. It's just this nothing. And I've done 78,000 miles now, yeah. so. You know, the funny thing is, whenever we say we're going anywhere, just because, oh, we're going to South Mims. Oh, really? Yeah, he loves it here. <laughs> I've always been very excited by Nissans. I don't know why, I just really like them. And the Nissan Leaf seems to have great build quality, at least in my experience. So I'm really looking forward to the next gen one when that comes out. Because I think one of the problems with the with the Model 3 in this country is the wait is so long. Yeah. Whereas I think actually you could probably get yourself a new next gen Nissan Leaf by April next year. I think that's the case, yeah. And I think they, um, they, they very much, where this has been a kind of a unusual looking, make it obvious, it's, it's a different type of car. I think the new one, they've very much gone back to well, what sells, what looks mm. good. and. Um, I think I think it's a really nice looking car from what I've seen of the spy shot so far. From this sort of angle, I think it, I think it looks quite good. Yep. The worst angle for a Nissan Leaf is smack on the side. See, I like that. No, I don't. I don't, I don't think the headlights look right. Right. So I think from the front it looks a bit <clears> bulbous, <throat> and I'm not overly keen on it. I like the side because I like the wheels, um, well, I like and the I wheels. like the back of it. Uh, but it's funny, isn't it? It, it really does polarise but I, I find this sort of the three-quarter length, it looks kind of waspy and futuristic. Yeah. <laughs> From over here, it looks a bit like a kind of frog. my new car. I've got a leaky situation in the back of my car. Most of the water's come out now, <laughs> but when it goes up like this, water's coming out of here. I'm telling you all this in the hope that some clever subscriber can turn around and say, oh, it's coming in through here. And then I can just go and get some uh, bathroom sealant and sort <laughs> it out. Because that would be the, the cheaper, quicker option. Well, maybe not bathroom sealant, all weather sticker flex, you know, the stuff they use on the boats. That'll do the job. Another skateboard aficionado. <laughs> so that's Jasper's new uh, wow. birthday present. Is that your skateboard? It's amazing. Yeah, it's screaming it's hand, isn't that, it? That's a very good skateboard. Have you any idea? <laughs> that one, I love that one. Yeah, but this really one, nice. for getting around, is just the way to do it. This is the whole reason I have to meet up. I just want to see a skateboard, nothing else. <laughs> you mean about flex in it? Yeah. But actually, for around city. Right, this is how it's done. Loads of flex, isn't it? It's really easy to ride. But it makes for a nice, comfortable ride, though, doesn't it? Yeah, really good. You just have to watch it round corners or you grind the hinge. Ah, uh, yeah. So light as well. Yeah, you expect it to be really heavy. Bye, oh, mate. Lovely to meet you. You have a safe bye, trip. Bye, bye, mate. It's lovely to meet you. <laughs> and good luck riding your bike. I want to see lots more videos of you riding your bike really well. Is that okay? Yeah. Well, thank you ever so much. It's lovely yeah. to meet you. Really you say hi to Brilliant. all your family from yeah, us. Yeah, likewise. And um, Cheers. if you're ever down south, go give us a shout. Yeah. Bye bye, Ryan. Bye bye, Jasper. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Take care. Fingers, Jasper. Come on, pull them out. Then off home. That's always fun. Meet a subscriber. If you're interested, his channel will be in the description. What I've decided to do is attempt to encourage Jasper to give up this finger sucking using monster trucks as bait. 
seemed to work quite well last time, we just didn't stick with it long enough. I got an extra monster truck yesterday at Santa Pod, and that is going to be his prize, present, reward, whatever you want to call it, if he doesn't suck his fingers. So I'm not giving it to, to him today, I'll give it to him when I don't see him sucking his fingers for like a number of days. I'm not going to tell you where the monster truck is, Jasper. <laughs> No, it's not anywhere around here. That's one of the things that I really like about YouTube generally, is it gives me the ability to meet new interesting people all the time. Real plus point. You know, I meant to say this actually when I went to YouTube Spaces a couple of days ago. I really do enjoy meeting people who create videos for YouTube. And I think a large part of the reason for that is because Whatever the size of the audience they have, what they're doing is putting their efforts into something. And it's not for financial reward, believe me. It's it's for the joy of doing it and the joy of sharing. And that's what YouTube is all about. It's about you sharing whatever passion or interest or perspective you have on the world. And I think it's just the most fantastic social network. And I've never really been into social networks, you know, like Facebook and, okay, I'm awful at Twitter. I try with Instagram, but I'm still not good. <laughs> yeah, but YouTube, YouTube, I actually think is fantastic. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it, Share it and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram if you don't already and I'll see you tomorrow for the next instalment of my daily vlog. Bye. Got more coffee than I know what to do with now. Um, you can go in the driver's seat. Can. I can go in the driver's seat. Oh fantastic, then we can finish our conversation and he'll be more than happy. Yeah, you can play it all your life. Ooh, that hurt.